Hello, in this video, we will explore more of the motion blocks and learn about the stage area where the sprite moves. The motion blocks are color coded blue and they control the sprite movement, rotation and position on the stage. We saw that when we use the motion command move, it moved the cat the number of steps you put in. Let's understand a bit more about the scratch stage as that is the area available for our sprites to move. The stage is 480 pixels wide and 360 pixels high. A pixel is the smallest dot which makes up our screen. In scratch, when you move 10 steps, you move 10 pixels. When we move horizontally, we move along the horizontal plane or x-axis. When we move vertically, we move along vertical plane or y-axis. The place where the x-axis and y-axis meet is the center of the stage and that's where our cat sits when we start a new program. These axes divides our screen into four quadrants. To understand this well, Scratch provides us with a background which you can set on your stage. To know the current position the cat is standing, you can select X position and Y position from the motion blocks too. Now on top of the stage, you will be able to see your sprite coordinates. These coordinates are available below the stage as well. If you drag the cat on the right side of the Y axis, you will see X increments itself. However, if you move the cat to left, X will turn negative once it moves to the left of the Y axis. So left half of the stage has negative X values and right half has positive values. In a script, if you change X block and give a positive value, then the cat moves forward. If you give a negative value, the cat moves backward. Similarly, if you move the cat up, the Y coordinate value increments and if you move down, the value moves negative once you are below X axis. Now if you use change Y block and give a positive value, the cat moves upwards and negative value makes it move downwards. The center of the stage has value 0 for X and 0 for Y. So you can move 240 steps on the right, 240 steps to the left when you move on X axis. You can move 180 steps up and 180 steps down on Y axis. You can also change X and Y simultaneously by using go to command where you can give absolute value of X and Y to go to different directions and specify places on the stage. You can also use glide command which makes the movement smooth as in this command you can specify the time it takes to move to the new position. Now let's come back to our move command. The move command does not specify any X or Y. So where does it move? If you see along with the X and Y, there is also a direction field. When we give move 10 steps, it moves in the direction which is set for the sprite. You can use point in direction command to change the direction in which you want the sprite to move. So if you see this to move upward you use 0 degrees, right is plus 90 degrees and left is minus 90 degrees. To go down you can use either plus 180 or minus 180 as both mean the same. To set direction anywhere in between you can use any of the numbers in between. You can also use the turn command to rotate your sprite left or right to degrees you specify. In the next video, we will use some of the other blocks from the palette to make our sprites do more exciting stuff. Mm -hmm.